welcome to Two Girls One Quick. I mean, one Let's Play. Of Whoops. Broken Age. New game. We haven't. We don't know anything about this, so we're just gonna go in. Yep. I assume it's point and click, so we'll be fine. Oh. Space darkness. Is that his blanket? That's is super that a, cool. Is that a cyber blanket? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna actually keep you warm. I'm pretty sure that's a hologram, dude. Uh, I hear that we should always, you should start with the girl's story first because it's not as strong as the male story. Mari, please keep your feminist agenda out of the game. <laughs> Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Or is it Deloria? I can't tell what you're saying. I like this art direction. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of that game with the rabbit. You know, where there you're in you the are. forest. I was getting oh. worried. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on. This is insanely creepy. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Um, this, you know, this reminds me of that book series that was for young adults where it was like, um, when you got to a certain age, they put this crown on your head, and everyone thought it was really great. Okay, shut up, you guys! She's coming! But then, like, it, it ended up being that the crown that they put on people's head was, like, mind control from aliens. Oh my god, yeah, I remember that, but what was it? I don't remember, but someone's, I hope someone says, like, it's this series, because I kind of want to read it now. <laughs> oh my god, I remember, and they were three-legged things, Yeah, right? they were three-legged things that came from the sky, and they, like... It was like they put it on your head. I know exactly what you're talking about. And there about, was like though. a rebel like force that would like would put, put fake ones on and mm -hmm. yeah. Hello? Shh. Surprise! Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Do you feel creeped out by this a little? Yeah. Why, um, I mean, is it because we know what's coming next, or? No, like, because they said the maid, like, the way they say it is, like, in this really cheery way, but if they're saying, like, cult phrases, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the maiden feast and stuff, it's like, they're so happy about it, everything looks so pretty and, like, but then they're saying these really creepy things mm -hmm. that are just like freaking me out. But also, her voice actor I think sounds really familiar. I don't know where it's from. Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now. Like they're saying like ceremonial knife and stuff and it's like creeping me out. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Uh, Lavina? What is it, girl? Oh my god. The grandmother scares me. She's gonna tell it like it is. I know she is. Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh! Oh my god. Right? She's weird. Can I ask you about the maiden feast? Isn't that like a creep? If someone invited you to a maiden feast, would you be like, um, what is that? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you about the maiden's feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? 
<laughs> this sounds really gross. <laughs> How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. <laughs> what is Mog... Oh, that's that's a Cthulhu name if I ever saw one. Mogchathra. It sounds like Gog Saron. Shit. What is Mogchathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, hmm. look at me. <laughs> So it's a creature yeah. that's not human, And obviously. it sounds exactly like it came from the Cthulhu mythos, mm -hmm. so... Where do creatures like Magchathra come from? They come from beyond the plague dam. What? What? Are they, this is so... All these words that they're using, like... they And they speak in deep tongue and use under words. I'm like, what? <laughs> I want to go beyond the plague dam someday. It's no, you don't. Own, but maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. What? Sweet, awesome. <laughs> what? I want to go to the plague dam in Mog Chathra's stomach. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, <laughs> That's so they return awful. to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. <laughs> Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words... Question. It's me. Why are the maidens always sacrificed? Because Why the maidens need to be virgins and blah, 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 and but pretty. Like, uh, blah, blah. Why is it our responsibility to make up for these, like, virtuous? Because, Stacy, we're beautiful flowers. You know what? If, if I lived in a town where being a maiden who had virtuous qualities meant being eaten by a gigantic elder We'd god, be safe. We'd be safe. I'd be like... Blooding it up. Hey, boys, like, what's up? Let's do a gangbang. I'm alive. Like, <laughs> I'm going to make it out of this thing, okay? I'm going to make it out of this thing no matter how many dicks I fall in the dick tree, okay? <laughs> so exactly. I don't understand how they, like, convince these young women to be like, if you act really great, we'll all vote you to be sacrificed. Like, who falls for that shit? Well, I mean, kids do, but, like, wouldn't you think that, like, eventually people will catch on and be like, well, actually, I guess she's catching on. <laughs> Being like, wait a second, in someone's stomach? Yeah, what? wait, huh? <laughs> Mob Chathra attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloft just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll uh, take care of the rest. Right. right. Why, yeah, why don't we just fight Mogchathra? Ask her. So, why don't we just fight Mogchathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. Yes. I'd better go look for that <laughs> knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Ugh. So I'd be like, so anyway, I'm going to blow some kid in the middle of the party yeah. because I want to live. Mm-hmm. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. You go, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. I like that he calls it a shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this maiden's feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl. Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. 
I hope you're not filling her head with like equal rights or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this is to be you. a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Why do we stop being warriors? Why do we stop being warriors? Lavina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. <laughs> <laughs> Those wishy-washy bakers. Would you rather die fighting or sacrifice one person per village? Uh, I think I'd rather die fighting than be like that. Well, cause then you have to live you have to live with the shame of picking a person and sending them to die. Picking an innocent person. Yeah, exactly. And convincing them over years and years that, that it's the right perfectly thing. okay. Yeah. But then in a few generations, no one even knows it's shameful. You just die in your own shame. Mm-hmm. So then everything's fine. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, Did you see nothing. your eyes? <laughs> Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> so you know it's hard, but you're still going to send me to die. Thank yeah. you. I Whatever, hope Mom. that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? I feel this is a very relatable story. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. Hat check under check under this thing, that this purple thing? thing. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, right? This is like the creepiest shit. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head. <laughs> I'm sending my daughter to my her death. <laughs> Freaks. This How can they just be so cheery? They have two daughters. Day. Both are going to be at risk of death. Think, Morelia, think. Oh, I'll bring, oh, you know what, I'll bring him a cupcake. Uh, why not? Now I have a cupcake and a towel. We'll give the, the cupcake to Grandpa. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> what? Yeah. I guess I gotta take it. For me? No, for you. <laughs> for you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Ah. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> oh, Maybe we have to go get another one and then be like tempted. Mom and Dad will be hurt if there are any left over. 